Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to hand pollinate a nectarine. Now I am here um, in my allotment greenhouse and just next to me here is uh, my nectarine tree and as you can see it's already in blossom. Now, at the moment, because of the cold weather we've been having, there are no pollinating insects. Um, well, not that I've seen anyway. So we don't have any bees or anything like that to be able to pollinate um, this nectarine. Now, it is a self-fertile, so that means that it has both male and female parts and all you need to do is transfer the pollen and the bees will just transfer the pollen from one flower to the next on the same tree. Um, now even if we did have some bees or some other pollinating insects uh, because it's in the greenhouse they wouldn't be able to get to it anyway. So what I am going to do is hand pollinate this blossom. Now what we're looking at here is the male and female parts of the blossom and if I can show you uh, so these little yellow specks here are actually called the stamen which is the male part, it's the part that has the blossom, oh the, sorry the pollen and then um, this yellow part here is the stigma and that's the female part and that's what the blossom needs to go on to the pollen that's what the pollen needs to go on to in order to fertilize and um, for it to develop fruit now what I'm going to do is use a paintbrush now this isn't really thin enough I have actually cut it to try and make it thinner, but so I'm going to try and squeeze it together like that. And then all you need to do is just rub the paintbrush over the pollen. And there, can you see there's little yellow specks of pollen on that brush? Not a lot. Um, but that pollen I'm going to now transfer to the stigma. So you can actually see uh, here all the pollen that I've just rubbed is actually sitting on the leaves, on the petals there. So you just get onto the paintbrush. This is not really the right brush, but and you um, probably can't, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's little yellow specks all over the tip of the paintbrush. And then you want to find a stamen, oh uh, sorry, a stigma, which is the female part. I'm going to get this one at the top here, there, and then just give it a little So push. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below um, if you have any nectarine or peach trees on, um, growing in your greenhouses or on your patios. And if you haven't already, press the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.